Saklakent Canyon is a breathtaking natural wonder located in Antalya Province, Turkey. It is a must-see destination for anyone who loves hiking, exploring and immersing themselves in the beauty of the great outdoors. This canyon is 18 kilometers long and up to 300 meters deep, making it one of the deepest and most impressive canyons in the region. It was formed over millions of years as water from the mountains slowly eroded the limestone rock, creating a narrow and winding gorge that is both awe-inspiring and humbling. One of the most striking features of Saklakent Canyon is its icy cold water, which flows from the Taurus Mountains and forms a river that runs through the heart of the canyon. Visitors can hike along the riverbed, wading through the shallow pools and scrambling over the rocks, marveling at the crystal clear water and the way it reflects the surrounding cliffs and foliage. The canyon is open to visitors year round, although the best time to visit is in the summer months, when the water is at its coolest and the weather is warm and sunny. During this time, visitors can also enjoy a variety of activities such as rafting, canyoning, and zip lining, which allow them to experience the canyon in a more adventurous way. For those who prefer a more leisurely pace, there are plenty of opportunities to simply relax and soak up the natural beauty of the canyon. There are cafes and restaurants along the riverbank, where visitors can enjoy traditional Turkish food and drinks while taking in the stunning views. Oladines Beach located in the picturesque town of Fethai in Turkey, is one of the most stunning and unique beaches in the world. Known for its crystal-clear turquoise waters, soft white sand, and the nearby Blue Lagoon, this beach is a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to the Mediterranean coast of Turkey. The beach stretches over two kilometers and is surrounded by dramatic cliffs and mountains, creating a stunning backdrop for sunbathing, swimming, and water sports. The beach is also a popular spot for paragliding, with visitors soaring high above the coast and taking in the panoramic views of the surrounding landscape. But the real highlight of Oladines Beach is the Blue Lagoon, a natural pool of calm and clear water that is separated from the sea by a narrow strip of sand. This idyllic lagoon is a popular spot for swimming, sunbathing, and relaxing, with its shallow and calm waters perfect for children and non-swimmers. Visitors to Oladines Beach can also take a boat tour to explore the nearby coves and islands, stopping to swim and snorkel in the crystal clear waters along the way. The boats depart regularly from the beach, and visitors can choose from a variety of tours, ranging from half-day excursions to full-day trips that include lunch and drinks on board. In addition to its natural beauty, Oladines Beach also offers a range of amenities for visitors, including beachside cafes and restaurants, souvenir shops, and water sports rentals. There are also plenty of accommodation options in the area, from budget-friendly hostels to luxury resorts and villas. The Samela Monastery is a historic and awe-inspiring Orthodox monastery located on the side of a cliff in the Black Sea region of Turkey. Built in the 4th century AD, this stunning monastery is perched on a steep and rocky outcrop, surrounded by beautiful forests, waterfalls, and a rushing river below. One of the most striking features of the Samela Monastery is its architecture. The monastery consists of a series of rock-cut buildings and chapels that are decorated with frescoes and icons, many of which date back to the Byzantine era. Visitors can explore the various buildings and rooms of the monastery, admiring the intricate carvings and ornate decorations that adorn the walls and ceilings. Another highlight of the Samela Monastery is its location. Nestled high up in the cliffs, the monastery offers breathtaking views of the surrounding landscape, with the lush green forests and cascading waterfalls creating a stunning backdrop for this historic site. Visitors can take a leisurely hike through the forest to reach the monastery, or take a cable car that offers a thrilling ride up the mountainside. The Samela Monastery has a rich and fascinating history, with many legends and stories associated with its founding and construction. The monastery was once a center of learning and spiritual life, and has been visited by many prominent figures throughout its history, including Emperor Alexios III and Ataturk, the founder of modern Turkey. The Aokigahara Forest, also known as the Sea of Trees, is a dense forest located at the northwest base of Mount Fuji in Japan. This forest is known for its unique geological features, rich biodiversity, and dark history, making it a popular destination for adventure seekers, nature lovers, and those interested in exploring the paranormal. The Aokigahara Forest covers over 35 square kilometers, 
and is characterized by its thick canopy of trees, rugged terrain, and unique geological formations, such as lava flows and underground caves. The forest is home to a wide range of flora and fauna, including rare species of plants and animals that are unique to this area. Despite its natural beauty, the Aokigahara forest has a dark history and is known as a site for suicide. In fact, it is sometimes referred to as the suicide forest, as it has one of the highest suicide rates in the world. As a result, visitors to the forest are encouraged to stay on marked trails and to avoid venturing off the beaten path. Despite its dark reputation, the Aokigahara forest offers a unique and fascinating experience for those interested in exploring the natural world and the paranormal. The forest is home to a variety of legends and myths, and is believed by some to be haunted by the spirits of those who have taken their lives there. The cherry blossom season, or sakura season, is one of the most celebrated natural wonders in Japan, attracting millions of visitors from around the world every year. During this season, the country's iconic cherry trees burst into bloom, filling the streets, parks, and countryside with stunning shades of pink and white. The cherry blossom season typically begins in late March and lasts through early May, depending on the location and weather conditions. The exact timing of the bloom can vary from year to year, but it is closely monitored by the Japan Meteorological Agency, which provides daily forecasts and updates on the progress of the bloom. One of the most popular destinations for cherry blossom viewing is Tokyo, where the trees line the streets and parks throughout the city. Visitors can take a stroll through the famous Shinjuku Gyoen National Garden, which boasts over 1,000 cherry trees and a variety of other plant species. The Ueno Park is another popular spot, with more than 1,000 cherry trees that create a stunning canopy of pink and white blossoms. Beyond Tokyo, there are plenty of other destinations throughout Japan that offer breathtaking views of the cherry blossoms. The city of Kyoto is famous for its temples and shrines that are surrounded by cherry trees, creating a serene and peaceful atmosphere for visitors. The Philosopher's Path is a particularly scenic spot, with cherry trees lining the canal that runs alongside the path. The Great Wall of China is one of the most iconic and recognizable landmarks in the world. This ancient wonder of the world is a testament to the ingenuity and skill of the ancient Chinese people, and stands as a symbol of their strength, perseverance, and determination. The Great Wall of China is an expansive series of walls and fortifications that were constructed over 2,000 years ago to protect China's northern borders from invading armies. The wall stretches for over 13,000 miles, and is composed of a variety of materials, including brick, tamped earth, and stone. Visitors to the Great Wall can explore the various sections of the wall, each with its own unique features and history. Some sections of the wall have been restored and are easily accessible to visitors, while others are more rugged and require a bit of hiking to reach. One of the most popular sections of the wall for visitors is the Beidling section, which has been extensively restored and is easily accessible from Beijing. This section of the wall features watchtowers, crenellated parapets, and a variety of other fortifications that offer a glimpse into the daily life of the soldiers who once manned the wall.